we can finally give the Tin Man a heart. For the first time, a titanium heart was implanted in a patient, and they lived for eight days before receiving a donor heart. Australia's Bivacor is a new kind of totally artificial heart. It has two ventricles, but instead of beating, it spins. Magnetic levitation pushes a rotating impeller that then pushes the blood to flow through the Bivacor and then to the rest of the body. Maglev reduces the risks of blood trauma and mechanical wear, and is the same technique technology used in 2015 to make a Japanese train go 603 kilometers per hour. While it ran in eight days for that patient, it has also run for a month in cabs and is going on four plus years error free on a bench top. Now we just need to get the scarecrow a brain. This robot is one step closer to our dreams or nightmares. Figure 02 is a newly upgraded humanoid robot that utilizes AI speech communication. It features a slim matte black frame, five-fingered articulated hands with 16 degrees of freedom, and human equivalent strength. The bot can self-correct and learn from its own mistakes. Figure 02 has six cameras on its head, allowing for a vision language modeling system and speakers it can talk through. No word yet on whether it will do my dishes or murder me in my sleep. This is the latest in science news. This is Mind Blow. It turns out chimps are chatting with each other. An international team of researchers observed chimpanzees having human-like conversations. They observed the timing between gestures and responses. Some were a second pause, some were almost instant, and others interrupted each other. Kind of like humans do in an argument. They even noticed differences between chimp communities. Some communicated faster while others slower. For example, Uganda's Kanyawara chimpanzees were more fast-talking compared to these slower Sanso chimps that lived nearby. Through stringing together gestures, they've already identified 58 different versions of Let's Play. And after a conflict between two chimps, one named Monica stretched out her hand to Ursus, who tapped her hand, showing the conflict was resolved which is nice. We might finally be able to heal cartilage. A team led by Northwestern University have developed a biomaterial that acted as a scaffold that promoted cartilage regrowth in active joints when injected into damaged cartilage in living sheep. The first component in the material is a peptide molecule that binds to a protein that regulates the growth of bone and cartilage. The second component is hyaluronic acid that acts as a lubricant and plays a role in wound healing. The team made a slurry of the components and injected it into the sheep's bones. When the slurry came in contact with the calcium there, it hardened into a rubbery matrix cartilage called hyaline. Within weeks, the defects showed massive improvement, which is huge news for joints. What time is it? Oh, it's ping pong robot time. Researchers have designed the first ever robotic system capable of amateur human level performance in ping pong. Engineers have tried pitting robots against humans in ping pong for over 40 years because of the sport's intense visual coordination and complex motions. Google DeepMind first made a database of what they call initial table tennis ball states that included things like speed and spin. Then they asked their AI to use this information to practice returning serves and aiming. Pairing this with a robotic arm capable of quick movements, they set it against real players and recorded the data that was then continuously analyzed. With 29 real players of varying skill levels, the Google DeepMind robot won 13 matches or around 45% of its games, or probably 100% against me. Your future health might depend on a tongue scan. A new AI machine model is capable of accurately diagnosing certain illnesses almost every single time just by looking at a patient's tongue. Traditionally, the tongue's color, thickness, and shape was often used to diagnose different ailments. Now a team of engineering researchers collaborating between the University of South Australia and Iraq's Middle Technical University have the same ability using a webcam. They first fed their learning programs images of tongues of varying colors, a mix of healthy and unhealthy tongues, healthy and ill volunteers were then asked to position themselves 20 centimeters from a USB camera, and the results showed a remarkable precision, exceeding 98% in detecting ailments from just the tongue's color. So diagnosis might eventually become as simple as opening up and saying, Ah, uh, a brain implant gave this man his voice back. Thanks to a revolutionary brain computer interface that can decode his intended speech with about 97% accuracy, Casey Harrell, who suffers from ALS, can talk again. 
The built-in AI technology reads the speech out loud in his actual voice. The brain gate device uses four implanted microelectrode arrays in a region of the brain that plays an important role in speech coordination. The arrays record brain activity with a total of 256 cortical electrodes. The brain signals are translated into sound units called phonemes, which are then combined into words the person is trying to say. Harold began the first of 84 data collection sessions over 32 weeks, a total of 248 hours of verbal communication 25 days after the device was initially implanted. The system reached 99.6% accuracy after just the first half hour with a 50-word vocabulary, later expanding to a 125,000-word vocabulary with a 97.5% accuracy the best ever reported. The sophisticated AI model was trained with audio samples of his voice before he became ill, so the output sounds just like he did then, which is amazing. I hope that we are at a time when everyone who is like me have the same opportunity as I do to have a device like this that will help them communicate. Let's all make that happen, okay? Folks, we finally got some amazing mantle samples. With the help of ocean drilling vessel Joides Resolution, scientists just drilled down a whopping 1,268 meters in a volcanically active region of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge along the floor of the Atlantic Ocean, obtaining a long cylinder that provides an almost continuous sample of mantle rock. They said our results differ from what we expected. There's a lot less of the mineral pyroxene in the rocks, and the rocks have got very high concentrations of magnesium, both of which results from much higher amounts of melting than what we would have predicted. The sample may also shed light onto the origin of life on Earth. It offers insights into the interactions between olivine, a mineral in mantle rocks, and seawater whose interactions trigger a chemical reaction that generates hydrogen and other molecules that are vital for sustaining life. But me, I just like deep holes. And now for a Fuji film commercial starring Mr. Bean. Mindblow is a Patreon-supported program. Thanks to all of my patrons. Join us today. National color films have only three emulsion layers, red, green, and blue. But now, there's a fourth layer for exceptionally vivid colors. New Fujifilm Superior. With Reala technology, discover the fourth color layer advantage.